so it's the end of November in Germany and Christmas markets are springing up everywhere just in time for Christmas, one month before. Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. In this video, we're taking a look at two Christmas markets from opposite ends of the spectrum. First, a very traditional Christmas market founded in 1648. And then, one that's a little bit more extravagant. Welcome to Santa Pauli, the sexiest Christmas market in Hamburg, if not in the world. So the first thing we got here are these roasted and caramelized almonds and if you walk past these stalls you basically can smell them way before you see them and you just can't walk past it. So this is one of my favorite Christmas market snacks. They also come in different variations so you can also have cashews or different kinds of nuts and then also different flavors. For example they had Nutella which also sounded great but the roasted and caramelized almonds are just the classic. So. And of course, the absolute essential is mulled wine. Pretty much every stall sells it here, probably because there's a very high margin on this. But it's also very delicious, very comforting, very warming, and also a lot of fun after you've had two or three of these. Especially on the next morning. <laughs> yeah, especially on the next morning. You can also get this with an extra shot of alcohol in them. That's what the pros do, you know, like rum for example or amaretto um, is also a very special combo. And then mulled wine is only the beginning. You can also get um, hot chocolate, hot chocolate with a shot of alcohol, apple wine, pretty much any fruit that you uh, want basically. That's how you stay hydrated here on a Christmas market and also very warm. This is just Christmas in a cup. It's red wine with spices and it warms you from inside. Another real classic are these lard pastries. All over Germany they're called Schmalzgebäck and especially here in Lübeck they're called Schmutzen and they're just really sweet and doughy, yeasty pastries and they're topped with powdered sugar which is really good. And the problem with them is you will always have to watch your jacket eating them because you always cover yourself in powdered sugar but it's fine, it's worth it. Just buy a new jacket. And just a tip is to um, only buy a small portion because otherwise you will eat whatever portion you get like immediately. This. Yeah, also this is the, the children's portion and it's, it's quite a lot. So I feel like every country has their own variation of this dessert where they basically fry dough and cover it with sugar. So the smaller ones are always very crispy, the bigger ones more fluffy and when you get to the ones at the end they are just very fatty, very sugary and you basically end on this glorious sugar high. <laughs> the most important thing though is to eat them warm because when they're cold, not the same. One big bite for mankind and also... A small one for you. <laughs> also, yeah, a small one for me. <laughs> Christmas markets here in Germany are all about comfort. Comfort food and the comfort of having a warm mug of mulled wine with you for the whole evening because it's very chilly and you just need to have something to warm you up a little. Santa Pauli takes the idea of the traditional Christmas market and adds its own, more X-rated touch to it. At Santa Pauli you've got your traditional food and drinks that you can find at most Christmas markets, but you also have some more innovative options. There's a variety of suggestively named shots and alcoholic beverages, souvenirs and items for sale are also very fitting to the overall theme, and when it comes to entertainment, Santa Pauli also delivers on their promise. So this Christmas market is actually located in the middle of the red light district here in Hamburg and in the evening it gets a little bit raunchy because at every hour you get a little strip show as well. If you need a break from the classic mulled wine, 
you can head to the Mulled Wine Pharmacy, where you fill out your own prescription to customize your mulled wine with a variety of flavors. Just be careful though to not go overboard too much with your flavors, as we might have done here. And compared to most Christmas markets, you've got quite a high variety of food options at Santa Pauli that can be paired perfectly with your mulled wine. So I got myself a little bread from the wood oven and it's with some mushrooms, tomato sauce and mozzarella. It's almost like a pizza, but a bit thicker and it tastes really good. And who doesn't know the classic Christmas snack, the grilled cheese sandwich. It's actually with mac and cheese inside of a grilled cheese so I think that's a very interesting combo and it's very good for this cold and dark and grey weather it's actually quite hard to taste anything right now because my hands are frozen my feet are frozen and I think my mouth is a little bit frozen as well I got myself a little unicorn malt wine and it has a lot of glitter in it. I hope it tastes alright and not too artificial. <laughs> it looks good. I do prefer a normal malt wine, I must say. With a nice and subtle hint of unicorn. Actually, it tastes more like artificial fruit with malt wine. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's very nice to look at though. So no matter if you like it more traditional or a little bit more raunchy, I think Christmas markets here in Germany have it all.